I'm Mimi and today I'm going to read you Al Wants to Share at Moonlight School. This is Miss Moon's Moonlight School for all the wee small creatures of the night. And Bat, the, the night bell had already rung and Bat and Cat and Owl and Mouse were all ready and waiting. But somebody was missing. And that somebody was Miss Moon. Suddenly, she stepped out of the crayon cupboard. It was drawing time. I like drawing, said Mouse. Me too, said Bat. And me, said Cat. I do like drawing. Sometimes, said Owl but only when I'm good at it. Tonight, said Miss Moon, you will all be wonderful. I want you each to draw a favourite nighttime thing. Mouse put up her paw immediately. I will draw a dark and glinty sea. Bat put up her wing. I will draw a dark and whispery tree. I, said Cat, will draw a bee. But bees are nighttime things, said Bat. Mine is, said Cat, and it is dark and mysterious too. What lovely ideas, said Miss Moon. Now, Owl, what would you like to draw? Owl needed more deciding time, so I am going to draw a secret, he said. Mouse and Cat and Bat all chose their crayons and started drawing. Owl was still deciding. Is everything all right, Owl dear? asked Miss Moon. Owl looked up at Miss Moon. He thought he had an idea. And then he knew exactly what to draw. Al hurried to the crayon pot, but all the nice nighttime crayons were taken. Poor Al, he did want his picture to be just right. I'm sure the others will share with you when they're finished, said Miss Moon. But Cat and Bat and Mouse needed all the nighttime colours and simply could not, would not share. I'm not finished, Cat explained. I'm not finished either, said Bat. I expect I shall not be finished for ages, said Mouse. I would not have to make, I would have to make do with the daytime colours. Miss Moon watched to see how everyone was getting on. She was very impressed with Mouse's sea and Bat's tree and Cat's dark, mysterious bee. Then she looked at Owl's picture. How lovely, said Miss Moon. Owl blushed. Mouse and Cat and Bat all hurried to take a look. Owl was drawing a picture of... You, Miss Moon, said Owl. But, said Bat, Miss Moon does not have blue-green hair and it is not curly either. She does not have a yellow hair, said Cat, and her hats are always pointy. And Miss Moon never wears stripy frocks, said Mouse. Said Mouse. Owl has drawn Miss Moon all wrong. I think Owl has made me look special and different, said Miss Moon. And I'm not sure I will have my hair blue-green and curly. And I never do wear stripy frocks of any sort. But I might look rather dashing in that hat. And it was true. Owl had made Miss Moon look special and different. And lovely too. You are clever, Owl, said Mouse, and Bat, and Cat. Owl's picture had given them 
all new ideas. All right, said Al, but I haven't finished my picture either. He had a new idea too. Can I borrow the nighttime crayons, please? You can use mine, said Mouse, and mine, said Bat. What will Al draw now? Cat wondered. Al looked clever and said nothing. When drawing time was over, it was time to admire everyone's pictures properly. Mousy was dark and glinty with orange fishes. Catsby was dark and mysterious, but now it had blue-green wings and an umbrella. Oh, ow, said Miss Moon. How lovely. You've put us all in your picture. Now I am thinking of a nighttime thing too. Is it a teddy bear? asked Mouse. Miss Moon shook her head. Is it a banana? asked Cat. Miss Moon shook her head again. I bet it's a biscuit, said Bat. Biscuits are nice, said Miss Moon. But no. I think it might be a flower, said Owl. Miss Moon just smiled. None of you have guessed correctly, so I will show you instead. And she gave Owl and Bat and Mouse and Cat each a golden nighttime star. The end. I hope you enjoyed my story. Thank you for listening.